Welcome back to Three Shields I Trust. As you can see here today, I am going to be reviewing Wolverine from the uh, Apocalypse Build-A-Figure wave. And yes, I know this wave has been out for about a year and a half, almost two years now. But I'm about ready to complete the Apocalypse Build-A-Figure. So I'm going to review each uh, individual figure in the wave and then review Apocalypse. Let's get started on Wolverine's bio here. It says, razor sharp claws and an incredible accelerated healing ability make Wolverine a nearly unstoppable threat. And how true that is, Wolverine is one of those unstoppable characters in the Marvel Universe. Uh, as you can see here, Wolverine is assigned number one in the wave, and he comes with Apocalypse's cables that connect his arms and his legs. We'll get to that review later on in the future. So let's start off with Wolverine and his accessories. Now Wolverine in box, he comes with these claws on him already. Uh, but I switched them out immediately because out of packaging these claws were in danger of breaking and actually if you can tell on this one here one of them is already almost broken here. It's a real shame. These claws are really nicely done. Um, they're pretty accurate as far as shape for Wolverine's claws. But uh, yeah, it, it came in this packaging here. I don't want to handle it too much. Uh, I'm going to have to fix these and glue them or either glue them permanently or maybe put a, a sticky putty in them so that I can uh, adjust them accordingly. I'll, I'll see in the future. I'll have to work on that, but they're really nicely done. Uh, look at that one. That one's all bent to the side here. Unfortunate for the packaging. Uh, Hasbro needs to do a better job with it. These uh, claws are very delicate, so be careful when you're taking it out of packaging. Uh, maybe look at it before you take uh, one of the Wolverines if you can find one still uh, yeah I'm gonna put these to the side because I don't want them to get damaged now Wolverine himself oh what an amazing figure he is he looks so great uh, he is in his what everybody calls tiger stripe uniform uh, unfortunately that is really misnamed uh, Wolverine has nothing to do with the tiger but uh, actually, let's uh, move him up a little bit here. Get a good look at what everybody calls the tiger stripes. Yeah, as you can see here. Uh, let me put a picture up here. I'm going to put a picture here of an actual Wolverine animal. Uh, as you can see in the picture here, Wolverines in the wild do have claws they have five of them uh, and they have fangs too as you can see in the picture and these quote-unquote stripes are representative of those claws and the fangs that a wolverine has now marvel's wolverine only has three claws that's why he has one two three stripes claw marks on his uniform so yeah that's really you know i don't know when he started being called the tiger stripe uniform but yeah that's wrong so let's get back to Wolverine here so amazing build this is so accurate to the 90s uh, Wolverine in the comic books as well as in the uh, series the animated series that they had on TV uh, let's get to the articulation a bit here so the head nicely going down here he does go up fairly well he doesn't have much side to side but yeah he can look left and right uh, arms you get the 360 biceps you get the double joints except oh, those muscles get in the way and look at those biceps and triceps this is a guy who does not miss gym day on the crunch he's got amazing crunch forward and he's got a really good crunch back as well he does have waist swivel but the belt sometimes gets in the way this is loose here uh, you can push it all the way down, you know, so you can get that swivel back and forth, or you can, I guess, move it up here, and that's a little bit better. I wish they would have just made that permanently on his waist rather than uh, loose the way it is, but it is what it is. 
And for kicks, he's got a good kick forward, not much kick back, but gets in the way. And he's got the thigh swivel, he's got the double joints. Yeah, pretty good, considering his huge calf muscles here. And on the feet, nice point. And he does have a swiveling around. Uh, let's look at his actual face sculpt here. This is Wolverine's grin. His mean, mean grin. Actually, uh, I think it looks kind of like him forcing a smile here, showing his teeth. He's like, uh, I don't want to smile. But, yeah, it's supposed to be a grin. Actually, I'm going to show you guys one more picture here. Let's put Wolverine to the side here. This picture here I took Christmas 2018. It's a photo op between Wolverine, Iron Man, Rocket Raccoon, and Groot. These are actually the first figures I've collected in the Marvel series, in the Marvel Legends series. Uh, that's They're the ones that started me on this journey here. But yeah, I took this little picture for Christmas and I sent it to the family. It was a nice little funny thing. Wolverine, you know, his face is perfect for a photo op. In any case, let's move to the side here and back to Wolverine. I love the boots here. I love the coloring on the uniform. Um, they used a very bright yellow for his uniform and a bright blue. Let's just compare him to Forge, who's the other figure that I have who's in the yellow and blue. You can tell uh, Forge's blue is a little bit darker and the yellow is much brighter on Wolverine than on Forge. Let's get Forge out of here. So, on my review of Wolverine here, he's one of my favorite uh, X-Men, top five, maybe even top three. Uh, but on this particular figurine here, it's really a darn shame about these claws here. Really bad. Um, despite that, it's still an amazing figure itself. I'm going to give the figure a 9.3. And uh, it would have been a 9.7, maybe even a 9.9 .9, had the claws been a little bit better done. But uh, because of the claws, I'm going to bring it down to a 9.3. Uh, Hasbro, you got to do a better job on that articulation or the packaging so that the uh, figures don't get damaged. Uh, please, you know, this was probably the figure that would have gotten a perfect score. But... It's an amazing figure. Love it. Got to pick it up if you don't have it already. He's going to be a hard one to find. You may have to just, you know, go onto eBay, Mercury, or anything like that to find them. But, uh, yeah, collect them, please. He's great. So thanks for watching, guys, and see you soon.